so it has not even been two weeks since we got to enjoy the biggest super match event in the history of sport and since that day we are constantly getting updates about new super match announcements i believe that this year 2022 is going to be the best year for arm wrestling by far major events like three king of the table events and two east versus west events and countless mid-level events that we are going to enjoy this year if you are an arm wrestling fan you are definitely living in the best era of the sport and i would say that not only arm wrestling fans if you are associated with arm wrestling in any shape or form you are definitely going to enjoy this period my friend so welcome arm wrestling fans i'm pradeep from arm wrestling news and today we are going to discuss two recently announced super matches number one monster michael todd versus leonidas arcona and number two lachlan adair versus sandres sedis so let's talk about the first match Monster Michael Todd vs Leonidas Arcona No, this is not a mismatch because it is a left-handed match. Right-handed, it would have been a total mismatch. But left-handed, I'm not so sure about that. So Michael Todd is constantly pushing these left-handed super matches. First, he's going to arm wrestle Robbie Toppy on March 19th at his Monster Factory pay-per-view. If you haven't bought the pay-per-view yet, please buy it now from Monster Michael Todd channel. Even if you buy it now, you can cancel it right away and you will still get the benefits till the end of the month. And by month, I mean 30 days and you will get to enjoy the pay-per-view on March 19th. After that, Monster Michael Todd is going to face Leonidas Arcona on March 26th in Germany. And after that, he's going to face Ryan SP left-handed. These all are killer super matches. Monster Michael Todd is already on a two-match losing streak. So will his losing streak continue? I think it will. And I know me being a YouTuber, a journalist of the sport, it sometimes becomes my responsibility to hype up the matches and to present them as neutral or equally contested super matches. And I can do that if the match is 60-40. But if the match is 95-5 or 99-1, I'm not sure if I can do that or if I'm supposed to do that because it is what these matches are, at least two of them. Number one, Michael Todd versus Roby Topi, left-handed. I think it is going to be a clean sweep for Roby Topi, very easy and I don't see any upset under any circumstances barring any injuries to Roby Topi. And let's talk about number three match, Michael Todd versus Ryan SP, left-handed. Again, easy clean sweep for Ryan SP. I am going to say that Michael Todd's chances of beating Ryan SP left-handed are equal to my chance of beating Michael Todd left-handed, which is exactly zero. So we are not even going to talk about these two matches anymore. Let's talk about the second match, Michael versus Leonidas Arcona on March 26th. If Leonidas has improved as much as Larry has improved in last one year, then this is going to be another sweep for Leonidas because Leonidas was easily defeating Larry Wills more than a year ago. If he has progressed as much as Larry, I doubt it is going to be a close match because I have this unpopular opinion that right now Michael Todd cannot defeat Larry Wheels left-handed. And if he has been working on it, I think it is going to be another sweep for Leonidas. So I will give Leonidas about 65% chances of beating Michael Todd in this match. Let's wish Michael Todd all the luck because I believe he genuinely needs it now. And let's move on to the next super match. Lachlan Adair vs Sandres say this. This match was announced by Angin Terzi out of nowhere. No talks of it, no trash talking, no hyping or building up the match, nothing. Announced out of nowhere for East vs West 3 event in early August this year. As we all kind of already know that Sandres say this is coming off of a big win against Chan Shaw. 3-0 at East vs West 2 event and Lachlan Adair on the other hand is coming off of a loss against Todd Hutchings 6-0 but if we ask European arm wrestlers at East vs West 2 event they were quite sure that Sandris will beat Todd Hutchings if these two face each other so is Sandris say this is top role that great and is Lachlan going to struggle against it we don't know but we have seen that Lachlan Adair's top roll isn't great. When he tried to top roll Todd Hutchings, his own wrist got bent back. So top roll is definitely not an option against Sandres for Lachlan. Let's move on to hook. We have seen that Lachlan can get in a hook whenever he wants. He has always done that. Left-handed, I think Devon also defeated him in a hook. But Devon let 
defeats everyone in a hook left-handed. I have very rarely seen Devon top roll left-handed. Devon always goes for the top roll right-handed, but not with the left arm. So against Ryan Bowen, Lachlan Rare could have done anything he wanted. That match was not close. And I believe that Ryan's top roll is not near Sandre Sedis's top roll. So we cannot gauge anything from that as well. So clearly this match is hook versus top roll. It may be stopped somewhere in between and either the wrist will go like that or like that. So it will be dependent on that. Another match set up by Engin Terzi where I have no clue how it is going to go. Another really great close match. Give me your opinion about these matches in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up. Share it with someone who thinks like you. My name is Pradeep and I thank you so much for watching.